Earlier this month, the world saw the grand opening of the Beijing Daxing Airport, the new mega hub for the Beijing area. And for the first time, the traveling public of China has gotten to experience the world's largest single structure passenger terminal building, which some have referred to as the Starfish. The airport was built to help alleviate the congestion problems at Beijing Capital Airport, which Daxing Airport is set to complement. While Daxing is set to become the next Asian mega hub, Beijing Capital is a mega hub in its own right, with the distinction of being the second busiest airport in the world and the busiest airport in Asia. And for this reason, the history of the operations and the future of Beijing Capital Airport will be the topic of this video. Before both Daxing and Capital Airport, one airport, the Beijing Nanyuan Airport, was China's first and oldest airport, having been opened in 1910. Nanyuan Airport is located in the Fengtai District, around 13 kilometers from Beijing. Prior to the opening of Capital Airport, Nanyuan Airport was the primary civil airport of the city. Though after nearly 109 years, the civil operations at Nanyuan ceased just last month as civil operations at Nanyuan was shifted to Daxing Airport. This leads to the opening of Capital Airport, which was opened in 1958. At the time, Capital Airport had one runway and one VIP terminal. As air travel was restricted to Communist Party officials on flights operated by China State Airline, operated by the Civil Aviation Administration of China, which was referred to as CAAC Airlines. Eventually, civil flights would be started and Beijing Capital Airport would be the launching pad for some of these flights, mostly to the Soviet bloc countries, as well as to North Korea, Cambodia, and Vietnam. From Beijing Capital, these flights would often make a stop at another Chinese city, such as Shanghai and Guangzhou. CAAC Airlines route network was fairly limited, given that this was during the Cold War and there was no diplomatic relations with countries such as the United States and its Asian and European allies. This would later change in the 1970s with one historic visit and Capital Airport would play a role in these historic events. In 1972, then US President Richard Nixon made his historic visit to China. Air Force One would touch down at Beijing Capital Airport which was followed by a series of diplomatic meetings that paved the way for future diplomatic relations between the United States and China. These meetings changed the course of history for China as it opened up more to the rest of the world. CAAC Airlines would expand its network to more flights in areas that previously it never served, and Capital Airport evolved with two major projects during that period, first in 1978 with a new runway, followed by an international terminal Terminal 1, which was opened in 1980 to meet the growing demands of air travel to and from Beijing. And by the 1980s, the airport was seeing flights starting to North America, Europe, Australia, and the Middle East, again with stops at cities like Shanghai and Guangzhou. CAAC Airlines was the primary operator of flights at Beijing Capital Airport, but this changed as airlines from other countries, including Pan American, which made its return to China and Beijing following the suspension of flights and the aftermath of the Chinese Communist Revolution in 1949. China's aviation industry would change further in 1988 when operations of CAAC Airlines was split among six major regions, including Beijing. Capital Airport was designated to be the hub for this airline, which we now know today as Air China. As the 90s and 2000s saw improvements in aircraft technology that has allowed more nonstop flights to Beijing from other parts of the world, China's aviation industry was starting to boom. And during this time, Beijing Capital Airport would undergo a series of renovations and upgrades, which includes the opening of a new terminal, Terminal 2, in 1999, which included the improvements and upgrade of Terminal 1. This was followed up in 2007 and 2008 with the addition of a third runway and the opening of a much larger Terminal 3 that was opened just right before the 2008 Beijing Olympic Games. As Asia and China's aviation industries has grown rapidly, the role of Beijing Capital Airport has also grown to not only be a key domestic hub, but an international gateway to China. 
In terms of passenger traffic, Beijing Capital Airport is the second busiest airport in the world and the busiest in Asia, handling over 100 million passengers in 2018. Beijing Capital Airport also saw over 614,000 aircraft movements and handled over 2 million tons of cargo. While Air China, Beijing's primary airline, is based at Capital Airport, Capital Airport has seen significant operations from China Eastern, China Southern, Hainan Airlines, and also is a hub and base for Beijing Capital Airlines, one of China's low-cost airlines. In terms of routes, while it is possible to get flights from Beijing to New York, London, or other major cities around the world, the busiest routes to and from Capital Airport in terms of regularly scheduled flights has been domestic routes. According to Flight Radar 24 data, the busiest route in terms of flights operated between two cities is the Capital Airport to Shanghai Hongqiao route, which has over 300 flights per week, with the Capital to Shenzhen route following closely behind. However, while its growth has been remarkable, Capital Airport doesn't have much room to grow, and facing a problem among Chinese airports and aviation in terms of congestion and delays, the new Daxing Airport is expected to help alleviate the pressure on Beijing Capital Airport to handle the growing demands of travel in the Beijing area. While the Chinese government has implemented a policy to shift some of the operations at Capital Airport to Daxing, Capital Airport will remain an important infrastructure asset for the Chinese central government as both airports Daxing and Capital would aid the country in terms of access to the far-flung corners of the country, which complements the growing network of Chinese railroads and roads that connect in one way or another to Beijing. Beijing and China is looking to emulate this, but this time for international air travel, and it is possible that Daxing could achieve the 100 million passenger mark at some point in the future. This could make both Beijing Capital and Daxing Airport the largest travel market compared to cities with multiple international air hubs such as Tokyo, London, and New York within the next decade. Thank you for watching this video. This has been another edition of Flights in Asia. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Once again, thank you for watching and have a great day.